We are here to break ground in downtown Buffalo for a brand new 21st century medical school. It will be one of the largest new buildings to be constructed in Buffalo in decades. And when we put the shovel in the ground today, that was a shovel towards the new future for Buffalo. With this leadership, with this energy, there's no stopping what Buffalo can do. The new School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences is designed to become a Buffalo landmark. A spectacular modern building, it brings all aspects of the school under one roof and unites UB with its partners on the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. It will allow UB to train more students and residents and hire 100 new faculty members. And we know that the impact of this progress extends far beyond the region. The students we educate, the discoveries and treatment generated here will save lives and improve the quality of life for people around the world. The prospect of putting doctors, scientists, medical residents, and students together in a metropolitan academic medical center is already attracting additional top clinical and scientific talent to Western New York. It's a tremendous opportunity to uh, actually you know, contribute to all the things that are going on uh, at the university right now, which are very exciting, and at Buffalo, which are very exciting. Dr. Anthony Martinez was recently recruited from San Diego. He treats patients with liver disease and is researching innovative therapies for hepatitis C. And I think that the more you look around here, you see an incredible amount of talent in a number of different disciplines, and everybody's doing things that are really going to push their fields forward. The new school signals to, uh, to the world, basically, but certainly to the nation, that UB is a school that's on the move, uh, that it projects for itself a bright and a vibrant future, and that alone helps attract people. People want to be part of that. We are all going to profit by this. We're going to see this as perhaps the biggest thing that's ever happened in this community in the near decade. From both a recognition standpoint, from a quality standpoint, when it speaks about all this university can and has done. The Medical School Project is a centerpiece of the university's UB 2020 plan. It will enhance academic excellence, improve health care, and open up new avenues for discovery. Because when you have basic science and clinical departments near each other, they can work together, collaborate, and there's a much better opportunity to do translational research when you've got those synergies working together. Gabriella Popescu is a neuroscientist. She studies a molecule in the brain that affects diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And she looks forward to being closer to centers of patient care. Interacting with clinicians and just giving you that human component of what we're working for, I think it just makes it more meaningful. But also we understand the urgency of, we have problems that we can solve now, or need to be solved now. It's given me the opportunity to give back to medicine what it gave to me. My grandmother who helped raise me battled stage four cervical cancer, and it was her healthcare team who gave her a better quality of life and allowed me to spend more time with her. When I was applying to medical school, I sent in only one application, and that was UB. The new medical school will be the next door neighbor to Buffalo's major teaching hospitals and research partners the Houtman Woodward Medical Institute, Roswell Park Cancer Institute, and Kaleida and ECMC under Great Lake Health System banner. There was a really great sense that if we really collaborated, we found synergies, we brought ourselves together with a common vision to really create a comprehensive medical complex, that it could be something wonderful for the people of Western New York and beyond. At Roswell Park, Bram Siegel believes that will help in the complicated treatment of cancer patients. Our patients with cancer don't just have cancer, they have other medical problems as well. I think that Roswell would benefit in terms of having greater expertise that's outside of the direct oncology uh, delivery. It will bring this community closer to a fully integrated healthcare system that we so desperately have been striving for. The new school will also be a bridge to surrounding neighborhoods 
and it will be closer to Buffalo's underserved, with more initiatives to engage faculty and students in urban clinics. Because listening to the patient's story and what brought them to where they are, whether they're having access problems or problems with their health, um, this is where students really learn how to take care of people. Because in the end, the quality of time you spend here with your family, friends, and your city is what really matters. And we are being trained at this medical school to give you the best quality. UB's medical school began in 1846, and the first classes were taught in a rented church in downtown Buffalo. This project reflects a renewed commitment to the city and its future. This place will soon be bustling with cranes and hard hats, followed by thousands of doctors, patients, researchers, private industry, and importantly, the young students training to become our state's next generation of healthcare professionals. It's a big boost uh, economically and I think psychologically to see the university continue to make investments in downtown and the medical campus. We see it as a catalyst for commercial development, retail development, residential development, things of that nature. So it's nothing but good for Buffalo. We really have a once in a lifetime uh, opportunity, not only from the job point of view here at the university, but also to be part of a revitalization of a really great American city.